Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video today. I want to share with you a quick message. As every single day, every single morning, I sit down and write a quick message that I post on my Instagram page and my Facebook page, Attract Passion. Today's one is kind of special because it reminds us of our responsibilities and how our life starts changing when we start taking more care of them. So I wrote, when you focus on what's in your power to change, everything else will lose its importance. Which reminds us that um, when we truly focus on what's in our control, so what's in our control, like our thoughts, our actions, our behaviors, our habits, the food that we choose to consume, the information we choose to consume, not all of them, but there's a lot in our power to control what we allow ourselves to perceive. Because whatever we are perceiving constantly, that's what is affecting our minds, right? And repeat it for enough time, it will become a program, it will become a a consistent repetition of the way you think and that's what's forming beliefs. So if we're not taking care of what we choose to perceive, what we choose to put into our bodies, we'll always feel like um, our environment is controlling us. So if our environment is controlling us, we are giving our power away to our environment and that's where we feel victimized. And that's why so many people feel like they can't truly take responsibilities in their lives like people feel lazy people feel like they don't want to do anything that's why because people give their power to their environment and suddenly we are only used to do what we are told to do so we stop thinking with our own heads with our own brain with our own minds and that's where we become really weak our minds become weak our willpower becomes weak and our emotional system becomes really, really influenced with everything we perceive. That's why it's so hard for many people to get out of depression, to get out of mental illness, to get back into who they are meant to be. So I'm reminding you, when you focus on what's in your power to change, everything else will lose its importance. Because we may find many important things around us. But the question is, what things, what is really, really important? Because if you focus on to who you want to become, what you want to accomplish in your life, what kind of skills you want to develop, who you want to become, you will find a different picture of what you want to focus on right? You will have a completely different picture of life. And once you focus on that that's important to you, everything else will lose its importance. You will see social media, you will say no thank you. You will only use what you need, what can help you to, to develop your mental capacities, right? You will use social media for learning, not for entertainment. You can use social media for creating for being an artist, for producing contest, right, content rather than being just uh, entertained by it. It's a huge change because you go from uh, like a puppet that's just, um, you know, flowing around a little bit, consuming everything that comes across our awareness to a creator where you start producing something that you wish to see on the world right? That's where you start making a difference. And that's in your power. That's in your power. When you focus to change what's in your power to change, anything that is, that is not in your power will lose its importance. What people are saying to you, what's happening around you, what's happening on the news, what's happening on the world will lose its importance. And that's where you start to look clearly onto the world. That's where you can plug yourself to the creative flow where you suddenly see things as opportunities to make it better, right? How can we do that? Well, there is a creative flow and you've experienced it when you've got 
like a download of inspiration. That's when you've plugged yourself to something uh, creative. You know, sometimes a good music can help us with that. Sometimes a walk in the nature can help us with that. Sometimes deep conversations plug us to that creative flow. So what truly happens in that moment? So what happens, we go beyond our familiar subconscious states we are most of the time. And that's where we become creative. You know, being creative means being conscious. Because conscious is creative. Conscious is um, it's the state of a creator. When you're fully conscious, you're in the state of a creator. And that's where you recognize that there's a field of ideas, a field of inspiration. And all you need is your willpower to use it and to make something out of it. So when I wrote, when you focus on what's in your power to change, everything else will lose its importance. And suddenly life gets much lighter. That act plugs you into a creative flow where you start receiving ideas that could elevate your whole being and at the same time rise others to grow with you. So you've maybe noticed that every time you start doing something creatively, you notice that some people, not all of them, but some people in your life start growing with you. They, maybe they see you as an example. Maybe they are inspired by you. Maybe you don't even know that they see you as a positive inspiration. Maybe people are not saying thank you. But you know, you're leaving footprints behind. And many people are getting inspired by you because you're following your heart. And that's where people start growing with you. And eventually we notice that some people fall out of our lives. And some people get back into our lives and some people stay with us. And those are the people that um, are really, really worthy of your love. And also you're worthy of their love. And that is something truly, truly important. Because those who don't take responsibility for their lives will see you like you're punishing yourself. But they will eventually fall out of your life. So... It often happens like that because I've seen in my family often when I was building up my discipline because I wanted to, to follow my heart. I wanted to do things that were important to me. And at the same time, I was working out. I was taking care of whatever is in my power to work on my immune system and things like that. Many people see you like why you're working so hard on yourself. Like, isn't it easier to just lay down on your couch and watch TV and things like that. And people see us like we are punishing ourselves. But what's different is that you feel much better. You feel sharper. You feel like um, your life is meaningful. You feel like you're doing something that is important to you. And that is, that is a great job. Not many people are doing what feels important to them. Like whatever it is. You know, sometimes gardening can be something that's just important to you. And whatever it is, when you do it, you just know that this is the right thing. And if it's important to you, you will, you will have a need to work a lot on that. So you will work a lot on that. And from somebody, it may seem like, what's wrong with you? Why you're focusing so much on that little thing? But you know why you're doing that. So never forget your why. Never forget why you've started. Because some people, like I said, who don't take responsibilities in their lives will try to pull you down because they don't understand you. And they don't need to understand you. But you need to understand yourself. You need to know why you're doing these things. You need to know why you're following your passions. You need to know what's your vision, right? So we can stay focused on that. And always stay focused on that. Because that's what will keep you on, on that path. That's what will keep you in touch with your inner fire. And, you know, at that point, when you do all of that, 
You deserve real and supportive love, not fake one. And that's the point where you start attracting new relationships into your life. When you truly give your all to what inspires you, to what puts wood, wood onto that inner fire, you start attracting new relationships into your life because the universe supports your process because you're doing something big, something great, not just for you, but for all, for everyone who will come across your work can get something out of it, like a glimpse of inspiration, a glimpse of motivation, an insight. Maybe, maybe you're a healer, a healing energy. Maybe you're a scientist, uh, a great idea or whatever it is. And that is something that is really big. So I just wanted to, wanted to give you this today because I think often we forget about um, how many things are actually in our hands, how much we can actually do in our lives. And when it comes to big changes, like changing habits, we may find ourselves like a certain habit is just not serving me anymore. Habits are big changes because they start with small actions and consistent repetition of certain actions will develop the stronger patterns that are deeply rooted in our minds that become automatic. So changing a habit is a big, huge job. And if it feels like it doesn't work for you, yeah, don't quit because it's huge. Changing those patterns that are subconscious, it takes some time, it takes some effort. So be patient with yourself, but understand that as long as you are re reprogramming yourself, rewiring yourself, you are making positive changes. And when it comes to change, of any kind, it comes to a willpower, to effort, and to vision, to clarity. So I would start with a question, why am I doing that in the first place? Because when we know the why, everything else becomes easier. And because of so many distractions, we lose why. We lose that understanding why we're doing that. And because we're living in a busy world where we are bombarded with so much of stuff, so much of information, it's easy to lose ourselves in that. It's easy to lose our why. And that's what it means to stay focused on what's really important to you. So remind yourself every single day why you're doing what you're doing what's your vision and that vision may upgrade may change may evolve the same as you're evolving your mind is expanding you're knowing more about yourself about the life you want to live and the life you're living and the value of that vision that you have the value of changes you want to create in this world but know that you're already the change that you wish to see you just need to become more of it, but you are already it. The potential is within you. It's not somewhere in the future. It's not somewhere outside of you. The potential is already within you. You're planting a seed right now and seed needs time to grow, but it's already present within you. And every time you're nurturing this actions, you're nurturing yourself, you're nurturing that seed that is growing into something beautiful. So remember that, my friends. I'm sharing today with you painting rose that grows through the concrete because that's what I would connect with this message. And remember, sometimes we may find ourselves at the point of our lives where it feels like around us is a concrete wall. And you need to know that the strength you have within your heart to break that wall is much stronger than the strength of the wall that is trying to stop you. 
which means that doesn't matter how much resistance you experience from your external life, when people are trying to pull you down, when it feels like money is not coming, when it feels like you're not motivated, you're not inspired. That's the external resistance that is just building you up to overcome it. Doesn't matter how strong it is. There's always that inner fire if we learn to nurture it. When we know our why, when we know why we're doing that, we'll always find the inner capacity of strength that will help us to overcome those voices, overcome those noises, overcome that concrete wall. And that's where we win. So, you see, it's not about doing just what we are comfortable doing. It's not just doing easy things. Actually, there's a quote I, I, I've just seen and I want to share with you. Uh, and it says... A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. So what it means? When you're doing easy things, you will never become strong. But when you do hard things, you will naturally strengthen all that you are. So it's about balance, of course. But don't be afraid of what's hard. Don't be afraid of what's blocking you. Because that's how we overcome fear, right? By exposing yourself to it, but still staying true to yourself. So my friends, this is it for today. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day. Until next time, one love.